Hi everybody, it's Megan here on Chantal's Live page. Um, I have just walked in the gates um, and I'll just show you guys what's going on. It's still pouring with rain, um, lots of tents up. I haven't seen what's gone in yet. Um, everybody's really, really happy and cheerful and peaceful. Um, hey, hey guys. <laughs> Um, and I've just bumped into a couple of people that just wanted to have a quick, um, I wanted to chat with us. Uh, so, hang on a second, we'll come this way. They can hear us better if I face this way. Oh, yeah. um, come on Hi, under guys. that umbrella. <laughs> hey everybody. Hey guys, do you want to tell us what, um, yeah, what happened? We've, uh, we came down from the Naki yesterday and uh, this morning we just put out a huge shout to all of our friends through Taranaki in Auckland. Um, for a bunch of about a dozen people, we ended up getting about $1,500. We've shot through to Bunnings in the warehouse, got track pants, wet weather gears, earbeds, and all sorts of stuff to help our people do it. Stand strong, New Zealand. That's awesome, eh? Yeah. Like, how many? How long did it take for that cash to come in to help oh, everyone? Within about 10 minutes, everyone oh is goodness. amazing. And while we were going around the warehouse, people were handing us cash because they knew why we were there. Wow, yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, yeah, peaceful, loving. The, the love for our people is just yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, this guys. Is amazing. Yeah. Everyone yeah. should get into it. If you can come down, come down. Or if you can donate $5 somewhere for someone coming down, just do it, guys. Yeah. It's amazing down here. And if you don't believe us, just come and have a look. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, we're just come and have a look. Um, I know some people have said they're worried about coming down with masks on. Um, and there have been rumours of people being... Um, you know, rude and spitting on people with masks. I have personally have not seen any not of that. Not at all. The people are peaceful and loving. Anyone will invite you into their tent. There's food and the food's delicious. Yep. It's just amazing. I have been in tears for the last two days. It's awesome. Yeah, and I, I think, look, with any situation where there are huge amounts of people, there are always going to be some people that aren't aren't very cool. Um, if that was to happen, then, you know, we're, everyone else here around is going to stop that from happening. We're on the side of everybody just being happy and free and having a good time and looking so after each other. Live life yeah. and enjoy. Yeah. Freely. Thank you, guys. Peacefully. Come down yes. to the Summer Festival. Summer Festival. You don't even need to be back. Yeah. <laughs> right. Peace and care, car, New Zealand. Stand strong. Bye. Okay, isn't it lovely to hear those, some of those stories? All right, so hi, it's Megan here. It's very windy uh, and wet again today. Um, just as I was walking in the door, uh, I bumped into a woman I'd like you guys to meet. Um, hello, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. It's because I didn't give oh. it, but it is Gaynor. Gaynor, hello. hello. Um, now, Gaynor, you were just saying you came down to have a look for yourself um, and you well, just no, walked I actually, through? I actually came down because I had baked this morning and thought there's lot, likely to be a lot of people that can't afford Wellington prices. Yes. So, yes, I, I didn't donate. I just baked scones. And oh, we've got bought in gluten free biscuits because oh, it's going to be people. Lovely, I'm gluten do. free, that's brilliant. There you go. <laughs> and I just had the condition that they were given away. I did not yes. want them sold. No, nothing's um, been sold. So uh, that's from now empty. Yep. That, that was my Oh day. my gosh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, you must have been baking up a storm. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, no, it was good. And yeah, as you say, there's always the odd one that is a little bit erratic here, but in the main. I can't help but admire everyone that's prepared to stay. In the rain, and it's very cold down here, especially it if is. you slept in a tent. And, and good on them. And yeah, because I'm not one that hasn't been vaccinated. I have been vaccinated. Yep. But a couple of my family members haven't, so mm -hmm. they've lost their jobs. Yeah. And I, yeah. I, I understand the reason why the vaccination was promoted but it was a disastrous and drastic measure yeah. to say if you don't get it you have no job yes and that's where i had all the time in the world for jacinda originally but a little bit like what john keys did when he got the majority and didn't have to worry about anyone he went overboard i'm a little bit concerned jacinda that you might be doing the same and as for grant robinson saying it is only a little minority you forget that I was alive when they had the Homosexual Law Reform Bill. Now that was a lot less minority that marched on Parliament then than what is here now. And nor did they have the stamina that these people have now. <laughs> so Grant, it was not a good interview this morning. All the best. Thanks. Oh, thank you so much. And you're, if you're right, I'll just let you know my name is Megan. I'm not a journalist. I'm not, I don't normally live stream. I just sort of learned how to do it. Um, I'm a mental health nurse and I've lost my job um, because I have serious clotting issues. My doctors have told me not to get things. Like that. a small minority 
minority I know of the whole population, but that is where, where you feel it's not for me, yep. you shouldn't be losing your job because of it. No, and we just want honesty and truth, you know, come out and talk about the, the people that are being injured and killed by these vaccines, don't hide it. Medication um, always has side effects, it's not... Yeah, and, and I understand what they're saying though, and I knew straight away when this um, pandemic hit New Zealand, there was no way our hospitals could cope. So I understood why they had the lockdowns. Yeah. I've understood lots of things, but what I don't understand is, my son, who's vaccinated and boosted, was the one who gave it to his four mates at a dinner party. Now, his son that wasn't unvaccinated. Oh, he gave he it. gave COVID to his friends. He gave COVID <laughs> to his friends. <laughs> and not right. his unvaccinated son. Yeah, yeah. Oh, his okay. So his unvaccinated son. Gosh, you can see how windy it is down here at the moment. Oh my gosh. Um, and so, all right. So you're saying your vaccinated son um, yes, and had COVID and boosted, had COVID, but he didn't know. He and didn't that's know. The danger. No. And you see, symptoms are much less. They tell us. Um, yeah. I wouldn't know if I had it. No. My fear is that I have not worn a mask. Yeah, but my fear is giving it to somebody like yourself yeah. who isn't vaccinated because I don't know a lot of it. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, if we look at the statistics on uh, how many people are dying for so many cases, I'm not worried. I've had a look at it and it's more people well, die than flu. My, uh, I've got a lot of friends in Australia. I've been living in Melbourne for the last 20 years and um, you know, there's a lot of people over there that I know that have had COVID and have recovered from it. Um, mm -hmm. One, um, my husband, hello, he had uh, four days of a cold. Um, and I've got friends that have had it and had no symptoms at all. Well, my granddaughter, this is the irony of it. My granddaughter, her class, she had come home from school. She had it and she said it was bad headache, Grandma. Yep. Okay, yep. she's not vaccinated. Now, her brother, who lives in the same household, was allowed to go to school. Yeah. Now, it doesn't make sense. It makes no sense. And that's, I guess that's what we're saying. This makes no sense. Please, um, open the country up, stop the mandates, give me back my job. I want to be a mental health nurse and help kids and yeah. I want your family to go back to work yeah. as well. This is just because, silly. Um, you know, like, <laughs> they're in their 40s and sorry, they have huge mortgages and one yes. doesn't even have their house at all and has now lost their job. And yeah, just because, oh yes, she made the choice to lose her job. No, she didn't. She made the choice not to take it. Yeah. Two different things, and it's not a choice, it's coercion when you turn around and say to somebody, you don't do it, you're not allowed to work. That's right. Well, well good. thank you so much for talking good to us. And thanks for the scones. <laughs> Bye. Wow, well that's a really great um, perspective from someone that's uh, just come in today. Alright guys, um, so as I said, uh, I've just arrived. Um, I'm just going to turn the camera around. Oh, okay, losing my umbrella. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to come up here. We're going to have a look and see what's been going on. Hey guys, it's Megan here on Chantelle's live page. Uh, she's just sorting out some equipment stuff at the moment. Oh gosh, it's very hard to walk. Uh, All right. Okay, so everyone looks pretty happy over here at the moment. Let's come down here and have a look. Gosh, look how wet it is. Oh my goodness. That's right. Vaxxed or unvaxxed, you can catch and pass on COVID, so everybody should just get the choice. Hi guys. Did you stay here overnight? Did you stay here overnight? Oh, when did you? Oh, okay, great. Where are you coming from? Wainui, all right, awesome. Um, and how you found things, because I've only just arrived, so tell everyone, let me turn this around so they can hear you. You guys? Uh, we, we haven't really been here for that long today, but um, as yeah. always, it's, Everyone's it's, happy yeah, it's to amazing. join together, yeah. and yeah, it's been amazing. It's been great, yeah. yeah. No I one's needed it. food the whole weekend, so. <laughs> Look, there's so much food yeah. here, so many people bringing yeah. in food, and the Hare Krishnas that have been organizing, they're cooking a lot of food. I'll have to go down and have a look at who else has been helping, but yeah. uh, people Incredible. showing up with free donuts. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've got our own yeah. little community here, everyone's pretty happy. It's and we're great. all hanging in there with the rain, yes. you know. Um, brilliant. All right, yeah. well, what do you think tomorrow? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, we'll have a good day. <laughs> yeah, all right, great. So I've walked in. Now, I'm, I was really, really lucky um, after a few days of really uh, pretty intense, intense stuff. Um, and late, late night, somebody had offered um, me a place to stay, which uh, was just so, so fantastic. 
Uh, really hard to leave everybody here still fighting in the cold, though. Uh, you know, dealing with not fighting. They're not uh, fighting anyone. They're just fighting the cold weather. Um, but. Um, you know, it was really wonderful. So thank you so much to the people that have um, given me a place to stay last night uh, and a nice warm shower and somewhere to hang all my very wet clothes. Uh, as you can see, uh, we've got some police still here. We've got everyone in, uh, in their ponchos and rain jackets. Hi! It's very windy, isn't it? <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, look at my umbrella. It keeps slipping. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, it's Megan here. Chantel's just in the middle of something. Hey, you guys having a good time? <laughs> Asking for freedom in the very cold weather. <laughs> uh, yeah, so hopefully um, Chantel will get down here uh, as soon as possible and she can um, keep you guys updated on what's going on. But for now, uh, you have me. Hey. All right, so here's the spot where I normally sit and do some um, do some filming. Chantelle and I have been up here. That's my banana. Uh, it's ripening. Oh, wicked. Somebody's had half of it. That's brilliant because I have uh, been fed very well this morning uh, at the place I got to stay in. Awesome. People bring in more hay to deal with this wet, wet weather that... Um, you know, the heavens have opened up and given us a lot of rain, but uh, it did start with uh, the sprinklers being turned on. Hi, sorry. It's like you're amazing. I've been walking in since the beginning. Oh, just came down today. Oh, did you? Um, where did you come from? Oh, hello. Hi. Uh, we came from Hamilton. Uh, left at 2 a.m. this morning. <laughs> We're only going to be here for a couple of hours because we have to go home and breastfeed our babies. Oh, oh my so God. it's like a seven hour drive. A few hours here, seven hour time. Yeah, well, <laughs> thank you so much for coming down and sticking it out in this weather. Yeah, um, yeah it's been great. Have you noticed anything, anything, any violence or anything? so happy yeah. and, and friendly. Oh. Crazy weather though, but yeah. Yeah, crazy weather. All right, I'll let you get going. You've got to get home to your babies. And, Great uh, to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is Chantel's live. Hi, this is Chantel's live. Um, I'm Megan. Um, she's Hi, not here Megan. at the moment. I know, I've been watching you both. Hi. I've been watching you both. This is my first day down here, but I just wanted to let you know that my husband's actually helping all the hell back bring the hay bales down at the moment but he's got an amazing story and he really wants to oh, share it. Oh lovely. If that's okay. Yeah so, um, awesome. yeah so I'm just going to stand here for a bit and do some filming or should I come with you and you can show me where he is? Well he's up there bringing the hay bales down so he'll be back here in a second with the hay bales. So, okay cool. Uh, oh yeah. So, um, all right, I'm going to head down to the. Oh, okay. I'm just going to head down to um, the info place to drop off some shoes for someone that's um, missing a pair of shoes in oh. this very messy uh, spot. Because I was given, um, somebody has given me a pair of shoes, okay. and uh, so I had some extras. Uh, so I brought them down for someone thank to use. So, so much for everything you're doing. Oh, thank you for being here. You and Chantal are amazing. <laughs> oh. Honestly, I've been Every, I'm always looking for your updates and Chantal's updates. So hi. Mama. Well, we've got some uh, battery here packs in here, oh, <laughs> so we can know. Got a bit more. Uh, Get down here, everyone. It's an amazing vibe. It's just there's some beautiful people down here doing amazing things. Definitely get down here if you can. It is lovely, isn't it? And I, despite the weather, but you know, if we can just still here, we are still here, and so all we need is that sun to shine, and yeah. it is going to be amazing, and it's coming. It's coming. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, well, Agreed. I'm going to head down there, but I'll be around this, you know, having a look. So. Great. Well, keep an eye out for you, Megan. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> all right. All right. Bye. Uh, yeah, all right. So I've got to get rid of this bag um, with me so I can put these shoes down for somebody. Uh, got our portaloos. Uh, we've got our taxi here waiting. <laughs> Uh, everyone's wearing um, ponchos or garbage bags. Kiwi ingenuity, it's brilliant. <laughs> lots and lots of food. We've got coffee here. Okay, this will definitely be uh, somewhere I head to today. Um, lots of crowds um, and lots of wind, but glad to see that the tarps have held up overnight. Uh, the tents are there. People are still dancing. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Did you stay here overnight? Yeah, yeah. Um, do you want to have a chat to everyone? You're on our Chantel Baker's live stream. Got it. <laughs> um, how was it overnight? 
Yeah, it was good. I'm one of the lucky ones because I've got a van. Oh, wicked. Yeah, so I'm not getting blown away like everyone else. Yeah. Yeah, wicked. Oh, well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, stay as dry as you can and eat some good food. Bye. Uh, we met this guy uh, a couple of days ago. He gave us a hand with um, some of the stuff we had to organise and it's just so many amazing people. Sorry, let me turn this around so you can see what's going on. Okay. <laughs> oh, we've had this guy sitting here, being looked after by everyone um, and just standing the ground, wanting freedom like the rest of us. All right, we've got an info spot here. All right, guys, I am just going to quickly sort out these shoes and I'm gonna to have to put the um, live stream down, but I will be back real quick. Um, uh, and yeah, all right, I'll see you guys soon, bye. Um, okay, hey guys, um, just give me a second. Uh, we're just going live, it's Megan here again on Chantal's page. Uh, back at the Wellington protest. Um, I just need to answer a couple of questions, so have a look around. Um, actually, while we're here, maybe you guys can tell us, you're from uh, Hawke's Bay, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Just have a chat. Yeah. because awesome, there's so many people that have come out to help you know we're all just having a really free time <laughs> yeah 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 uh, we've got a woman here who's lost her chair so um, if anyone has a spare chair oh thanks you too you're here as well yeah yeah we're glad we could actually show the real footage on that guys all right kia ora. Awesome, thank you. All right. Hey guys, have a great day. It is a. Um, what was your name? Oh, so I'm Nairali, Kia ora Fano. Um, so I'm here to take a stand too for our people. Uh, I guess now I've seen what Tinoranga Tiratanga is all about. Um, and for those who didn't understand it once upon a time, now do. Um, uh, many have come and asked us, and, and, and they've even said to us, you Mary started this. Oh. Well, it was a compliment, and we laughed together, and all I could say is, well, this is kotahi tanga. This is unity at its finest whānau, and I'm blessed to be here and be a part of it. So I pray that everybody stays safe and well in this weather. Um, there's no damp spirits anywhere. No. There's a whole lot of wet bodies, yep. but we're fine. <laughs> We yeah, are lots of smiles. Thank yes. you so much. Yeah, Can't feel you. my toes, but no, no, there is a drying room. I just heard. So there's a drying yeah, room. Yeah, we just heard that too. Which yeah, because we've got no dry clothes left at no. all. Let's, I wonder if my socks are wet as well. Well, I have to go this way anyway. I was going to take you to show you where okay, we're going. So we can get um, phone we're going to go find this drying room that we've heard of. Hi guys, it's Megan here on Chantel's. Oh, come on through, you guys. Awesome. All right, we'll head out this way. Hi. See you. All right. Sorry, spinning the phone. Okay, we've got someone that's come all the way down from Whangarei. How are you going? Even further. Yeah. How are you going? Hi, everybody. Uh, we haven't seen each other since she left Melbourne a few years ago, and I meant to come up and see her uh, on holiday, and we just couldn't because we got locked away from each other. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Me in right. the middle of the <laughs> Okay, all right, I've got to help these ladies out. Yeah, I'll come yeah, and find you. I'll find you. Um, all right, bye, darling. Oh, that is really exciting. Oh, all right, <laughs> sorry about more tears. They're happy tears, though. Okay, uh, drying room's apparently this way. Oh, so windy. Wow, I can't believe it. She text messaged me last night and said, um, we'll meet in the middle of the country because I've come up from Christchurch and she's come down from Whangarei. And um, wow, just awesome awesome to see her so many people here and you know what she might be my friend of you know 
a while, but I feel like I've made so many friends here. Yeah. You know, I feel like I've got lifelong friends. Yeah. People that just... And it's like they're passing hugs along. Everybody, their hugs are like, you feel the love. They're really embracing you. They're not just real fast hugs. No, um, really, everybody. Passionate. Yes, yes. they yeah. genuine is. Oh, so, you know what I mean? Okay, she doesn't... All right, well, look. I've I taken some getting... <laughs> it's taken some getting used to for me as well. Um, all right. Oh, maybe this is it here. Let's ask, because I'm looking at this bus and I'm thinking it's very steamy. Um... I'm wondering, uh, all right, so let's have a look around and find out. Uh, I've got the umbrella, so that's okay. Yep, all right, let me, um, um, there's a first aid tent here, so I'm just gonna check and see if they know where the drying tent is. Okay. But come, yeah, come on. <laughs> oh, it's the people coming into work for the food. No, 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 don't break class, do what you're doing, we'll just go to your Okay, cool, okay. <laughs> um, Hey guys! <laughs> Everyone's busy talking and having fun and eating. Can I just ask, does anyone know where the drying tent is? Hey guys, so you're on Chantel Baker's live page. Hey, how you going? This is a guy that survived a pretty brutal beating from the police. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay, well from my point of view, no, it's not good. Vigorous arrest. Vigorous arrest, alright, let's call it that. Uh, sorry, that's just my opinion. Um, I'm just wondering where the drying tent is. There's a, there's a hot room down the street here. Okay. And there's loads of wet weather gears and stuff in there for everyone to bloody okay. come in. We just went and got gumboots and pants oh, and running. Wicked, so wicked. I needed a pair for myself. So. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, down there it's amazing. It's just, oh, I'm on. Yeah. You are on live. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, well, we'll go down, 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 down there. Look. All right. Down there, <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. All right, we're going to head this way. Oh, hi, Lucy, how are you? Oh, we're oh, still live at the moment. I'm far out getting equipment. Um, do you want to say hello to Lucy? Um, <laughs> she's come down. Oh, come, come all the way up from Christchurch. Um, I'm just on the way looking for a drying room. So, oh, yeah, okay. Brilliant. All right, good to see you again. Like, all right, hi. Awesome, so many. Oh, there's my cousin. Hey, Tony. Uh, lovely to see you guys in your comments. It's really awesome. Uh, all right, so the drying room is apparently down here. Oh, we've got some shelter. Okay, brilliant. As I was saying, like, it's so beautiful that I've, I've got all these friends that have come up and down all over New Zealand, but I've actually made tons and tons of friends. So I'm just going to take you guys on this little journey. Oh, this is the drying room. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I've seen your life. Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for taking us here. Go on in. <laughs> Wow, look at this place. Tons of clothes that have been donated. Uh, the heaters are on. It's beautiful and dry. Hey, guys, you're on Chantel Baker's uh, live page. No, no, no. You're doing a great job. <laughs> oh, oh, so are you. <laughs> great to see you're pretty dry. <laughs> I just said get changed, actually. I've been on the info centre. Okay. I'm looking for people that are shaking. Yep. I'll see if I'm yeah. Yep. Yeah. So if you guys see anyone that is cold, shaking, send them this yeah, way. Send them to the info uh, team and look for um, a pink Ah, oh, great. Convoy kids. Okay, brilliant. Send them to the drying tent. Shaking, if, if they don't have anywhere dry to go, um, I'll send you out. So come to me. Brilliant. Watching, people are watching from all over the world. Western Australia is watching. I'm, yeah. There's someone in America in the US. Awesome. Uh, 1.9 thousand people can uh, see what a beautiful space this is. No, no, I haven't. Can uh, I go in? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, we're going to go in. Chuck my stuff back on. Sorry. Oh, okay. I'm getting dripped on, so I'm going to jump in. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, we're going in. Hi. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, my gosh. There are so many clothes. Hey, everyone. Are um, you just on Chantel Baker's live page? Hi. Hey, how are you? Gosh, you're just, just staying in here, staying dry. Just amazing. Isn't yeah, it yeah, amazing? Yeah. People have donated all these clothes. I, I know, and, and people just bringing in food and <laughs> yep. the rain coats yep. and earplugs and yep. all. It's just this is this is the Kiwi. Yes, you know, this Kiwi is spirit. The Kiwi this is what we're yeah. about. Why, why, does, why did you come down? Oh well, 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 I'm coming down. I'm coming. 
I, 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 I uh, came down to fight for my mukapuna. Yes. And after I saw what was going on on Thursday, yeah. I just packed up and I just came down straight away. Yeah, yeah. That, that's not, that's, that's, this is not my country. No, no. Know. And we're hearing that from so many people that yeah. they saw what happened and they saw the difference between what was live streamed and what was on yep. the mainstream media. Yep. And it was totally different, total contrast. Yes. And so uh, they've come down to join in and yeah. put in the support because this is our New Zealand, and this, this we don't we don't Zealand. stand for this. Yeah. This, is, this violence is not okay, you know. No, no. no we want our kids and grandkids to actually yep. live in a beautiful space. Yep, yep, exactly. All right, I'm going to uh, just show you guys what this place looks like. Thank you so much for chatting okay, to thank me. You. You Thanks take for coming care. down. You take care. <laughs> I just want you guys to see what this room is like. People working together. We need blankets, raincoats. I can see uh, some gumboots. Lots of gumboots for kids as well. Uh, wow. Wow, amazing effort. Yes, you're right. Hey guys, it's Megan here on Chantel's page. Um, all right, I'm going to get out and leave some space to everyone else. Lovely to meet you. All right. Hey guys. Oh, she's coming down soon. Um, Chantelle's just got some equipment stuff to sort out. Um, I'm dying to meet Okay, well, uh, look out for the green jacket that I'm in. We might spot her. <laughs> she's uh, yeah. in, in, in Leighton as well. Yeah, sure. All right, let me jump out. Um, thank you. Well, you guys are amazing for coming down as well. No, we're all in this together, you guys. So. Oh, that's okay. Thank you. Thank you for coming down. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's why we're here. But it, uh, I'm loving my freedom too. I won't be controlled. I will not. I will not give in to what I want for my body. So. No, so I'm so sorry to hear you've lost your job and good on you for standing up and saying no to something you didn't feel right about. Yeah. Well, I am vegan, yep. Yes, you can. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to hug. Oh, so many beautiful hugs awesome. here. <laughs> well, you guys are angels and I adore you. <laughs> Glad I hug my baby well. <laughs> And she's got my back. Good on you guys, this is awesome. She's, yeah, oh. she's like my brother and sister. But that's all right. Taylor. That's right. They that's are, okay. They Everyone takes yeah, their time. Yeah, they yeah. Need to have their own well. yeah. And it's hard. It's hard because so many of us have lost family members that don't understand our point of view. And but that's okay. We we just keep being peaceful and and trying to educate people about the importance of freedom over our own bodies. You know. Yeah. yeah. It's Stupid mandate. Yeah, stop oh the mandates. God. And beautiful and Titanic. Never listen to that music ever again. Oh, is that what they've been playing they overnight? They've been playing them on repeat. Okay, so what, what was happening overnight? Because when I uh, I was lucky enough that somebody gave me a place to stay last Aww. night after spending several days pretty exhausted with the way, with, um, you know, the, I guess what I would I call psychological trauma. Time. It's been phenomenal. Yeah. yeah, and when I left, the Macarena had been playing on back to back repeat for hours and hours on the end yeah. and um, yeah so when I left I've stopped um, but I hear that they started the music again overnight and they're yeah. playing so they're playing Titanic song yeah and beautiful by and, James Blunt and Philip yeah but then there was another little Kiwi group there just in front of the loudspeakers just having their own little music and dancing going and it's really I know it's great to have our speakers playing because you yeah. know having that music we playing on top controlled. of it and I wonder um so I wonder if they're paying royalties to those people for the amount of songs that I mean you play a song usually on the radio you don't you have to pay some money to play it yes uh, so yeah it'd be yeah. interesting James Blunt should probably look in to uh, what yeah, the, yeah, the New Zealand days. government owes yes, him. Yes, yeah, definitely. and Celine Dion. Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay, well, lovely to meet you, lovely to meet you both. Woo! <laughs> okay, it's so windy and right wet. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm going to go inside. Thank, thank you so you much. You, <laughs> Come and find Chantel later. Oh, all right. Gosh, you guys, you know, I just can't explain how beautiful it is to meet everyone here and just have so many lovely people that just want to be just want to be free you know we just want choice over our body and we need to stop these mandates so we can go back to work and take our country back 
Okay, all right, let's pop up here. I'm still looking for the uh, one of the people that lost her shoes so I can give her these shoes. So I'll just pop out this way and we can have a look at what's going on. And, oh, sorry, wrong way, gosh. Okay, I've gotten, <laughs> I've gotten so used to the camera now I forgot that it was on me, that's great. Okay, all right, we're gonna pop this way. Hey guys, it's Megan here on Chantel's page. All right. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Hi. Are you happy to hold? Hi. How you going? Last night. Hi, I'm Megan. Megan, yeah, yeah, you're at the media team. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hold this? What was your name? Maddox. Maddox. Okay, cool. Where have you come from? I come from Cambridge. Cambridge. Brilliant. I love this waterproof jacket and entire outfit. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. You came Picked prepared. It up this morning. Yeah, oh, yeah. did you? Where from? Uh, hunting and fishing. Hunting and fishing. Okay, cool. They let you in without a pass. Yeah. Good, good. Sticking to the rules. Uh, all right. So let me just give you uh, this. If you can hold this and do some filming while I just sort some stuff out. Yeah, right. medics, if you see any comments, feel free to reply to them. You sure can hold this umbrella up here. Yeah. Cool. Thanks very much, medics. So when did you um, see, when did you get here? I got here on Friday afternoon after work. Sorry Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get Maddox to juggle the phone to record and the umbrella and talk to me. He's going to come this side to make it a bit easier. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. So you got here Friday after work. What yeah. do you do for job? I do underground connectional drilling. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. So you've kept your job. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mom, Dad, Dad's the boss, so oh. he's, he hasn't mandated it. So. Yeah, okay, that's quite good. All right, I'm just trying to find someone um, that I need to give these shoes to. So how was it, oh, did you stay overnight? Yeah, yeah, we stayed in the car out the back. Oh, brilliant. Okay, yeah. so it stayed pretty dry. Yeah, everything got wet at one point, so. Yeah. Decided to, it was time to upgrade. So you guys, you're um, sticking around till the end of the weekend? Yep, yep, we're here till Tuesday or Wednesday or something. Okay, great. Yeah, because I do have to get back at one point or another. Yep, yeah, yeah. Well, there's lots more people coming. Yeah, that's um, the great thing, eh? Yeah, so, uh, all right, cool. Well, have a nice day. All right, so I'm looking for the person. Actually, I'm going to go in this way. Right, now we come down here, we're going to have a look at uh, what is going on down the path, down to the medic tent. Um, I'm seeing lots of lovely comments, you guys. It's beautiful to see the support of everyone here. And... Hi. Oh, hi. This is your, okay, and great. We've got um, a guy that's been delivering heaps of the hay to keep us nice and... Oh, well, well, you're helping, you're helping. Let me turn this around so everyone can hear you. Um, and what was your name? Hi. Pete. Hello, Pete. How are you? How are you going? Um, uh, your wife told us that you had a story that you wanted to share with us. Yes. Um, I'm, well, it's mine and my daughter's really, but really my daughter. Mm -hmm. Quite effective. She willingly had her first and second jabs. Yep. A lot of people. And after the second one, she ended up uh, pulling an ambulance twice and ended up in the hospital. After the second jab? After the second jab, Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, she works for a health provider. Yep. And told she's gone until the 15th of February to get a booster. Get yeah, a third jab. No deserved job. Oh, no. We are trying everything we can to get her exemption. Yep. She got her medical reports from the hospital, went to book the doctor's appointment, yep. told them why. Before she even got to see a doctor, she was told she wouldn't get one. Oh, no. That's not about health. No. no. That is not about health. And they said she could seek a second opinion, but we probably get told the same thing. Yep. So she did and got told the same thing. Yeah. Her medical records from the hospital mention nothing about just being vaccinated. Yeah. Nothing about the vaccine at all. Yeah. But while she was in the hospital, she was told by the staff that they'd seen these types of reactions in lots of young people. Wow. Yeah, okay. nothing in the records, yeah. nothing at all. So we're just trying every moment to get her exemption to come up against brick walls everywhere. Yeah. 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 Why can't we, and why we can't really we... feel for her because what, yeah. she, what it's causing is massive anxiety for yeah. her because she's got anxiety over losing her job, yes. she's got anxiety over having the booster shot to yeah. start with because she's afraid she's going to end up in hospital or worse, dying. Oh, you know? absolutely. Go for it again. I mean, she's 18. Yeah. It's just oh my not God. okay. She loves her job. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, and now she doesn't get the right to say no after all of the reaction that she no. after that experience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, her boss, that isn't right. Her, her, her boss has actually come around and is actually trying every 
every loophole he can find now as well. Big shout out to her boss, even though we can't say Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I'm so sorry to hear that and I hope you guys find a way around this. In fact, one way to get around it would be that we just end the mandates and let everyone keep their jobs. Amen. And that's That's why we're here. Ludicrous. Yes. And I mean, you know, I mean, my husband willingly also got his two jabs. Yep. You know, I've got a second one. Yeah, my heart uh, <laughs> thumped like mad. Speaking real fast for three weeks. Oh my gosh. Uh, I, was, I didn't say anything because I don't want Don't want your wife to worry? No. But yep. Thankfully it went away, but I won't go through it again. No. Yeah. No chance. So I, I, I like my heart too much. It works. So it's really an important part of your body. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. You're pretty stuck without it. So. The thing is, he thought he was doing the right thing. Yeah. He thought he was doing the right thing yeah. for him, for his family. For, for the know, country, family. you know, we were told yeah. what you're going to do. A lot yeah. of places I go to, they require that you're vaccinated. Uh, it's just, you know, it's just do it, so keep working. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the income rolling in, but now I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. I lose right. the dollar, I don't care. Well, because you can't come back from being dead. No, exactly. That's right. that's not, and that's, yeah. that's terrible. That's why, that's why there are so many people here, I think, because, like, for me, I can't... I don't. I don't want this vaccination. You know, this jibby jab. It's not a vaccine. It doesn't stop you from catching it. It doesn't stop you from passing it on. And they're not reporting honestly the side effects. Um, and well, they're not, they're not reporting anything. Yeah. And no medication is ever totally we safe. We had a doctor Fred Tani who's out the night too. His wife was in a similar situation. Yeah. Nothing in the medical records either. Yeah. No, nothing. Yeah. That's terrible. It's that's not what we want from our country. It's, it's not okay. No, yeah, well, I hope that your daughter is recovering okay. Mm, we uh, hope that we get yeah, She's through. recovered now. She's fine now, but we're just concerned about her going forward. Absolutely. Yeah. We, we don't, don't know what the long term effects are. Don't want to have she loves her job that much that if it came down to it, she'd probably do it again. Yeah. yeah. But we don't want it to. She doesn't really, doesn't really doesn't really doesn't want to. So, so for those people that feel like they cannot say no um, because of the situation they're in, we need to stop these mandates. We need to yeah. stop them so we don't harm any more any more people. Yeah. It's not okay. And it's not okay for young people to be caught through this. I mean yeah. my, even my daughter who did not want the jab at all and she had to or well, she was gonna she's at uni yeah. and she was gonna lose her job which was her only pretty much her biggest source of income was yeah. her part-time job. Yeah. Um, and also now of course they're mandating the university so she yeah. wouldn't be allowed on campus. She yeah. wouldn't be allowed to be studying yeah. and how wrong is that? She's twenty our young people should not be, be put in these situations. Yeah. Far too much pressure. Stopping people from being educated and yeah. stopping people from working. Yeah. And it's not it's not okay. This yeah. is not okay. It's not about health. No. Um, when you will not give an exemption to a person who's had a reaction to the second shot. Yeah. That and is ended not. up in hospital. In the hospital, it's not yeah. you know we're not talking like a sore arm. No. Uh, oh, I got a bit of a sore head. You know, a bit of a sore head for a day. We're actually talking about serious injuries. Yeah. yeah it's not good enough. All right, well, thanks for coming here and fighting for us. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Vegan, Quiet, guys. doing what you're doing. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. Uh, yeah, I've um, got nothing else to do except, <laughs> except be here demanding that the mandate stop. Yeah, yeah, us too. Yeah. Us too. Thank you so much. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Wow, another amazing story from people. Oh, hi. Yeah, there's lots of people. Just give me a second. There's lots of people that um, yeah, aren't Kiwis um, that are here as well, of course. Lots of people from all over the world. I met some, uh, yeah, so many different uh, cultures and people from different countries um, coming down to make New Zealand amazing. And uh, if anyone wants to come down and have a great festival, it's raining, it's cold, put on some uh, good, warm, weatherproof clothing and come down and be free with us. Okay, I can hear James Blunt. So this is the... Okay, the... <laughs> That's... Okay, first time I'm hearing it. Sure, it's a nice song. I imagine if I had to listen to this for hours on end while I was trying to sleep, I would not be happy. So I guess if anyone knows where to buy some earplugs, uh, buy a bunch of them and bring them on down because I imagine uh, that will be needed for people to get some sleep tonight. Oh, just going through the medic tent... Uh, so we've got a whole med- another medic tent out here. Looks like they're packing up. I think they're getting a better spot. So this is still the medical tent, but they're just rebuilding it. I don't know what Okay, rebuilding the medic tent. Okay, cool. <coughs> <coughs> I've got a little bit of a cough from all the talking uh, and the wet weather. You know, obviously this is not a healthy 
experience that the government is putting us through, um, forcing us to stand out here in the rain, in the cold, asking them to please come and talk to us about our freedoms and getting rid of the mandates. We can all go home and have a nice cup of tea and a shower and be warm. <laughs> These guys have been playing all the time, lifting up everyone's spirits and just bringing lots of food, cooking lots of food. Hey guys! <laughs> it's wicked. <laughs> Come on down, you guys. It's such a nice vibe. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, wow. Okay, so lots of people are stacking hay up around, uh, up around the tents to kind of stop us from falling over. The straw. <laughs> Yeah, those um, people that didn't hear, um, Chantelle is sorting out equipment. So I've come down. I didn't stay the night here. Somebody was really, really kind and um, had the ability to give me some space to stay last night. Uh, so I had a nice hot shower um, after quite a number of days in the rain and uh, with all the, the stress of what we just uh, witnessed on Thursday. Um, and so I guess I'm one of the lucky ones that got got to do that, um, whereas a lot of other people had to sleep out here. Uh, this is not healthy, you know, let us go home. Let us let us go home and be warm. It's uh, much healthier if we're able to sit at home. Hi. All right, looking for these, uh, looking for the person. Hi. How are you guys going? How was your night? Did you stay here last night? Oh. Okay. So people that might want to come back and have a shower. Um, where have you guys got it? Like a car set up or maybe... Um, uh, and so um, maybe come up and... Let me have a think about that. It'll be good if anyone wants to shower. Can I just look out for them and just see? Yeah. 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 I suppose uh, there's lots of people you can kind of tell they're sort of standing around looking very, very cold. There's a woman I saw with some um, thermal... Uh, you know, the silver blankets you put around to keep warm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so I wonder if, um, you know, she might be a good option. I just found the drying room yeah. uh, and all the donations that people have dropped off. Not all of them, actually. Some people from Hawke's Bay just said that they took in some stuff to the donation tent and or donation room and it was the second space they have because there are so many people bringing in warm weather gear and yeah. gumboots and... Yep, yep, brilliant. Oh, wow. All right, well, that's wicked. Okay, well, let's, uh, yeah, let's just keep a look out for people who are cold who might need a shower. That's awesome, you guys. <laughs> Thanks, bye. No, Chantel's not in hospital. No, 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 guys. Chantel's just sorting out some equipment. <laughs> no, no, she's, uh, she's just sorting out some equipment and she'll be down here uh, hopefully pretty soon. Um, I love it. You guys have got many different ways of spelling Megan. I'm going to tell you how it's spelt. It's M-E-A-G-A-N. Uh, it's all said the same though, Megan. Um, but yeah, loving, loving the comments, you guys. Beautiful. Look, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna look for this uh, person that needs these shoes that I promised. So um, for now, I'm just gonna turn off the live, um, and I will be back on really shortly. Uh, have a good lunch break, and talk to you soon. Bye. Man, thanks for waiting. We'll walk up together. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Megan back again um, on Chantel's um, live stream. I am just standing here chatting with Matt. Hello there, name's Matthew. Matthew, how are you going? And I'm from a town called Waipu, which is 40 kilometers south of Pungalay, if you want to know where that is. Oh, cool, 40 minutes south, okay. Uh, probably uh, warm it's here. actually kilometers, not oh, more. Uh, oh, kilometers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so, when did you get here? Uh, I actually drew here by car, I actually followed off some friends. Yep. They helped me to provide me a, a place to stay oh, okay. along the way. Yep. Where did you stay? Well, I stayed over in Hamilton, yep. then around Levin. Yeah, yeah. Also, we've had lots of people from Hamilton and Levin yes. here, so good people. 
Um, and so what brought you down here? Well, the convoy we all saw it on Facebook, I say, oh, I would like to be in this convoy and yep. to end the mandate because we know that mask wearing, the vaccine passport and that, it's just, it's insane and yep. we just got to know that, it's just got to end and of course I used to have a nephew, a niece, I actually have two nieces but I actually got my third was just born. Oh, wow. Probably on the last Tuesday. Oh, wow, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> That's my very nice. Well, so, are, they, are you going to say hello to them? Do you think that they'll... Hello. How are you all doing? <laughs> and... Yeah, cool. And have you had anything to eat today? Me? Yeah. <laughs> well, I actually haven't made a lot to eat. Well, if you, yeah, head on up to get some hot food, I reckon. Oh, yeah. It's quite like... Quite like quite one oh, or two. Have you got something warm to wear? Yeah, uh, yeah it's just... Yeah, I've got some warm. It's just my hands are cold, that's all. Let's go up this way because there's a... Um, there's a tent up here that's got like a drying space and they've got tons of clothes that have been donated. Do you know where it is? Yeah, well, yeah. I know, but I've already got that on. Okay, yeah. yeah. it's just the hands that get cold, that's all. Just... The ha I know, I'm noticing my hands are freezing. Um, yeah. We're just down here at Wellington um, at the Beehive, at the Parliament, taking back our freedom. Uh, it's Megan here on Chantal's live feed. Um, We've, I found the person that uh, needed the shoes, so I got given some shoes, um, and they fit, which is awesome. They're much more sturdy uh, and waterproof than what I had on, uh, and I had a pair of um, sneakers that I gave to someone who had, uh, yeah, she couldn't find her shoes, um, so yeah, so she's got some shoes, which is great, but yeah, should we head up here and see where we, what we can find on the wall? Yeah, yeah, just something to eat, that should be good. Yeah, and so how long are you staying here for? Well, I'll probably tell them if I give out a mandate or my go hide and check my bees and that and... Check on your... My beehive. Oh, you've got beehives. Oh, I'm brilliant. I'm beekeeper. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, and so uh, when do you need to go and check out the, how the bees are going? Well, I can be on check it out any time and it's probably due for that anyway and... Brilliant. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's see. I, I remember meeting you at the very start, the very first day, when it was beautiful and sunny. Yeah. And, um, like, it was such a nice vibe when we all came together and set up our yeah. tents and we were ready for a festival yeah. um, and to ask for our freedom. Yeah. Uh, take our freedom back. Um, yeah. And, yeah, it's good to see you're still here because I'm not going until these mandates are dropped. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, 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 thanks so much for coming to me, Matthew. Yeah. The drying tent's just um, out this gate over there. That's the drying building. Um, so do you, if you want to go and stand, do you want to get some warm clothes or stand and get, get dry or what are you going to do? Yeah, well, I'm going to get some food. Yeah, cool. All right. Nice. We'll go and enjoy the hot food. See you, Matthew. So many people that have been here from the start. Uh, and you guys are amazing because you've all shown up. And like, oh, let's go up this way. So many people have shown up after watching um, the live feeds and seeing what happened. Uh, it's so good because it's like you guys get to come down and actually see what's happening because uh, we know that we cannot trust the mainstream media. We know that they lie to us. Uh, I actually caught a taxi here. Uh, lucky enough that I didn't have to stay um, on site last night. Somebody, along with the boots, um, I was offered some, um, a place to stay last night so I got a, yeah, a warm couch <laughs> um, and a shower before I went to bed. It was just amazing after days and days of not showering. And, um, you know, so lucky because look at the state of this place. These guys have been out here in the rain, uh, you know, great spirits and stuff. But, yeah, it's, it's pretty hard work when you're, you're this wet and cold. Uh, not very healthy. Uh, this, this mandate is supposed to be about health, but here we are at the Beehive. And the government is keeping us all out here rather than dropping these mandates. You know, uh, isn't the country 90% vaccinated? Why can't we open back up now? You know, so uh, we're here to say open the country back up, drop the mandates, give us back our jobs. Sounds like uh, everyone's having fun. Uh, yeah, uh, Matthew was just saying that his hands are cold. I, I get that. My hands are uh, slowly getting bluer and bluer. <laughs> um, but as I said, I was really, really lucky that I didn't have to sleep here overnight. Uh, so thank you so much to the people that gave me a couch, gave us some space to sleep in. They gave me a hot shower. That was, uh, yeah, this is what everyone wants. We just want to go home and have, our, have a hot shower and have warm food and see the people we love. 
Um, but for now, we're uh, sticking it out in the festival, uh, ProFest 22, hanging out here around people that are so wonderful and loving. You've seen how much, yeah, you guys have seen how much everyone is just enjoying it and how many people come up and like tell us their amazing stories and give us hugs. And you know, they're treating everyone like that. It's not, it's not just um, Chantelle and I because we're on live stream. You know, people are just so friendly towards each other. Um, <laughs> hey guys. Hey, were you here last night? Yeah. yeah, how was it overnight? You didn't? Oh, that's good, you managed to go somewhere else? Yeah. Oh, cool. And how long have you been here today? All day. All day. Has, how long's the music been playing? To the way the rain and the wind. <laughs> How you going? Oh, hey guys. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Let's jump under the umbrella together. Uh, what's your name? I'm Lala. Lala. Repeal the COVID Health Act, Public Health Response Act, and let us get back to work and get our country open again. Yeah, there are there is a lot of damage to the grounds, um, and the rain has really, really destroyed it. I suppose there's not normally this many people on these grounds. Um, but here we are, back, back where I started earlier today, um, at, the, at the spot a few days ago um, after the police assaults um, on Thursday, uh, they turned on the, sprinkler, the sprinklers. Um, look, my timeline of everything is uh, a bit hazy because it's just been such a massive 
uh, really traumatic experience the start of this um, and uh, but yeah it was shortly after at some point after the police uh, assaulting all the protesters or some of the protesters uh, the sprinklers were turned on Sorry, I'm uh, rambling, I think I'm a little bit cold um, and my hands are getting freezing. But yeah, they turned the sprinklers on and destroyed a lot of this ground already. So uh, people had started falling over and um, somebody broke a collarbone. Uh, so the people here started digging trenches to try and get the rain off the ground, um, which as it turned out a few hours later, obviously became a bit pointless because we are covered in torrential rain here. <laughs> But look at all the smiling, happy faces. It's awesome. Yeah, so apparently there are more people coming. Uh, Picton is uh, full. Um, I'd seen a picture, it wasn't Picton, it was Australia, but um, people have been sending pictures up from, um, from staying in Picton. And yeah, it's really, really packed. Lots of people trying to get in here. Uh, I'm not sure if the ferries are running or if they'll stop cars, lots of different rumours. Uh, but when Chantal and I came up uh, at the start with the convoy, um, we'd been told that you wouldn't be able to get on the ferries and uh, yet yeah, we got on. So lots and lots of rumours but um, yeah, you just have to go down and figure it out for yourself. <laughs> Hi. I'm uh, not sure that I'm as uh, eager to get up this pole today. <laughs> oh, so yeah. Thanks for coming. Where have you guys come from? Hastings. Yeah. I've been told if I don't turn it around, they can't hear you. <laughs> um, how are you going? What's your name? I'm Vanessa. Hi. Hi. That's Mila. Hi, Mila. Hi, Mila. Oh, Mila. Oh, Mila. Oh, Mila. Oh, Mila. Oh, Mila. Oh, She's having too much fun to talk to me. That's okay. Camera. Oh, look. Yeah, we're Crichton's got ITMs and um, sawmill. 
Yep. Cool. Yep. All right. Do you want to say where, what your business is? There's 130 employees. Good on you. We have a building business in um, Hawke's Bay, and we're, we're much the same. We want people to have freedom of choice to choose for themselves what they yep. believe. And, um, yeah, keep the pricks off our kids, please. Like, yes. That's our freedom of choice. I chose to have kids, and that freedom should be taken from me as a mother. I have rights, and I need to protect my kids and their well-being. And this is part of it. And also freedom to... Um, I guess to have church is my religion. I should be able to choose when and where I go worship God. And at the moment, that is impacting me and my family's life every Sunday. And so that's another part of what I stand for, but not just that. Um, definitely freedom of um, education as well. Where my kids go to school, they have to wear a mask if they have to have vaccine. Um, again, those are my parental rights that have been taken from me. Yep. Give yeah. us back our rights. I reckon. Give us back our yes, rights. right. Our rights. Give us back our rights. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Awesome. Yeah, that's the division they're trying to create as well. Yep. Like, you come here, it's all unity, everyone's happy. How nice is it? It's great. <laughs> Even on a miserable day, it's still awesome. Yeah, do we know when the sun is coming out? It's supposed to stop raining Tuesday. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I heard it's going to get a little bit better this afternoon, but I'm not sure about when the sun's coming. Yeah, and yeah I think it's supposed to be Tuesday. There is so. no vandalisation to, like, uh, uh, it took yeah, me to come down to see it. There's no... Yeah, People putting rubbish in front of rubbish, there's no feces, there's nothing like that. Yep. Oh, so, dropping the leaves, sorry. Sorry, so it's all lies. If you don't believe, you know, what you're seeing in the media, then come down and have a look. If you do believe the media, then that's on you. You need to come down and see it for yourself. There's no abuse, nothing. nothing. It's all sweet as yeah. it has been the whole time. Yeah. Nothing but love and peace. Actually, it's really funny. So I was here on the uh, the day they turned the sprinklers on. So they turned the sprinklers on at 6 p.m. Um, just one of the sprinklers, and they saw that we managed to divert the sprinkler and actually had to run so everyone could use the hose to wash their hands rather than having to use um, the hand sanitizer, just fresh running water that yeah. the council was, the parliament's pouring down the drain. Um, but at one in the morning, that, day, that you know, later on, um, they turned the sprinklers on oh. underneath everyone's tents. And uh, like, that's pretty awful, sort of torturous behavior after what we've yep. witnessed with the people being beaten by the police. Yeah. Um, you know, peaceful protesters. Yeah. Um, but I was walking around um, that night at one o'clock and everyone was trying to deal with getting the water redirected into the gutters and using water bottles to do that. And uh, they couldn't get any water bottles really quickly because everyone had tidied up so much that they were all put <laughs> away in the bins. So people had to go back through the bins and get out the rubbish. And yeah, I guess the only problem is that at the moment uh, the rubbish is not being collected from the spots where we're leaving it for collection. So, uh, you know, those. Even with that, it's still incredibly tidy around it's here. So tidy. No, it is. no rubbish. Yep. Yeah. No, awesome. There's no swearing, there's nothing. It's, it's actually a child friendly place, but I wouldn't bring my children because it's raining. I know, it's too cold for kids. Yeah. Cool. And sorry, what was your names again? No, I'm Daniel Croydon. I'm Alicia, and um, I just want to say as well yesterday was poor Alexander. My heart goes out to you. When I saw the post of the police pressing down on your head, that was unfair because um, <coughs> clearly when you're already down, there's nothing your head can do to stop an arrest. So you clearly um, yeah, weren't being um, aggressive in any way. So my heart goes out to people like that. Thank you for standing for the truth. <coughs> no one should ever have a 130kg um, man planking on your head. Um, yeah, Keep standing for the truth. We're all together in this. Don't give up. If any of you can come down during the week, Come down, the numbers will just help. Yep. The longer we can do this, the better. Yep. So, Even if it's just for your snow cone, yeah. you yeah. great. It'll be come good weather and it's fun time, so just yep. come drop in. Yeah, brilliant. All right, thank you guys. Have an awesome day. Okay. Oh, good. We've got James Blunt again with your beautiful. <laughs> How are you guys going? Having a good day? Awesome. It is, isn't it lovely with some music to listen to? Yes, I know every single word of it. Cool, all right, well, enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Guys, I'm just gonna, just give me a second. Uh, gosh, my fingers are going numb and I'm trying to juggle an umbrella. Um, I'm wondering if you can help me with something. You can just hold this live stream up and just point it out there. That's all right, just so everyone can see what's going on.
Marcella. Do you want to hold that up with it as well? Thank you so much. Sorry, I'm trying to get... That's all right. Key type, no, what are those? Gazebos. Gazebos, yeah, those are just up. They weren't up before. No. Uh, um, it doesn't so. seem to matter how bad the conditions are, the people still come in.
otherwise my arm's getting tired. Oh, this over. No, it's over. I can do that. This both arms up is quite tiring. How are you guys going? Good. All right, you guys had a 1.1 thousand people watching your feed. Did you make any comments? <laughs> you didn't. Oh, thanks, guys. I'm gonna now make you be on the camera. Laughing at some of the other comments. James Blunt should be contacted because that we've been tortured by his songs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow, you guys have brought some food and I would love some fruit. This, this, this stuff here. That is wicked. Thank you so much. Got some. Uh, Dehydrated fruit. Oh, yum. Oh my gosh. Brilliant. Oh, lovely. You guys are awesome. When did you get down here? Yesterday. Did you, did you camp overnight? We didn't. Well, luckily. We thought it might not be the best. Yep, yep. Oh, well, I'm glad you had somewhere to stay and you're back today. Yes. Eating some hot chips. Nice. All right, well, have a lovely time. Yeah, you too. Bye. Hey, guys. Hey. Oh my gosh, okay, this is really strange. Um, I'm watching the live stream of myself uh, with you guys. This is weird. What a weird world we live in where we can do this. <laughs> where have you guys come from? Taranaki. Taranaki, yeah. cool. So I'm gonna try, and, my hands are numb and I can't quite get around. Give me a second. There we go. Where did you get here? Oh, Just now. showing you my own face. It's hot, it's, ah. <laughs> Alright, you just got here now. Yeah. Yep. Oh, why'd you guys come down? Support. Yep. Yeah, support, yeah. Yep. And the tyranny. Yep, sounds fair. Cool. You, and so have you been inside the grounds yet? Yep. 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 Yeah, cool. We've been for a walk around and it's awesome. It, it smells is. like a farm. It is. It does, <laughs> it does with all the hay on the ground. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> um, uh, Chantel's out just organising some equipment and things. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to hold my umbrella and have a look at my phone and we'll see uh, if she's around anytime soon. Um, hey guys, it's Megan here. I'll oh, let me turn it around and show you what's going on out there. Hi, hey going. Oh, sorry, it's on me still. I'm trying to listen to what's going on. Uh, all right, um, guys, I have to go and sort out some things. So thanks very much for being here. Have a good, have a good afternoon. <coughs> Okay, I cannot find my key, but I've got a scare key and my friends have it. Uh, okay. So, hey, um, if Morty or Alice are around, uh, I need the key to uh, the van. <laughs> um, if you guys can come on up to um, gate five, where we've been standing, um, doing some filming, that would be wicked. Uh, yeah, we need to get that van um, key, because I'm missing my other key. It's somewhere in all the wet clothes I have sitting in my, uh, in my bags, and I can't find it. Um, all right, guys, uh, it's Megan here at the moment. Uh, awesome, get me some gloves. Wicked, please do. Hey, and thanks for spelling my name right, Scotty. M E A G A N, love it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right. Um, hey, Hello. Can you do me a favor and just pull this up and show everyone what's going on while I just had a quick chat to some people? Absolutely. And oh, um, yeah. thank you. I'll get you to hold the umbrella over. Okay, it yeah. <laughs> Umbrella blown away! <laughs> the umbrella's blown inside out. Fix that.
as the people of New Zealand do what they do best. They see a while, they thwart. They see a problem, they fix it. <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm like, where'd she go? <laughs> You're very welcome. No, no, not stealing. <laughs> but I have to go, I'm, I'm on my way somewhere. I'm on a mission. <laughs> I'm on a mission to share hot showers if anybody needs one. The Aura Hotel, the Aura Hotel down, the, down at the bottom somewhere. Voices of Freedom are there. There's a guy called AB. He's just opened up. If people want to just need to get a few hours sleep, then he's just letting them sleep on the floor. He's opened up the bathrooms. He's giving people rooms for free. But there's showers if you need to get warm. Can you spell that for me? What's the name of the hotel? Aura, A U R A. Ah, oh, Aura. Okay, great. Aura. Two, two people without Kiwi accents. Oh, I'm not even filming you. I thought I was. I'm oh, sorry. No, that's all right. No um, worries. Hopefully, everyone could hear you then. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for that. So, there's You're hot very showers. You're welcome. Go and get a hot shower. Head to the Aura Hotel. Yeah, and they're not charging, they're donating. Great. Voices donating for Freedom have sorted it out. Voices for Freedom are down there. And the guy you asked for is AB. AB at Aura so Hotel. Hot band. showers. Awesome. You Thank you. Uh, Alright guys, um, I am going to uh, just turn things off for now, it's not much change, so uh, enjoy a bit of a break and we'll talk to you guys later, bye! Alright guys, I'm back with the lovely Megs. Hi! Hey, hey, how are you guys? You're doing an amazing job, oh, thank you so much. I've been you. involved from the start on all of the marches. Oh cool! It's great to see that you're actually getting us out here. I've been mandated out of truck driving. Oh shit, I've I'm so sorry. I've had an amazing sorry. job two days later. No, it's wow. been, everything happens for a reason. Man. Everything does, eh? Like all this Don't power be and unity. Don't stand eh? up for what you believe in, guys. Yeah, love There's it. There's other people out here who are going to support us. There's lots of... My favourite feeling here is... I'm a little bit more extreme than others, but I get older people coming up to me saying... And tears saying thanks for being here and standing up for the things that other people can't. And yeah. we're not alone, you know? Yeah. And everyone's There's just in it there. together, eh? No yeah. matter no matter what end they're at. Love it. Oh, oh my gosh. Alright guys, so they I think they cleaned off the wall earlier because and it looks like it, it all came back real quick. <laughs> it came back bigger and better the wall. Um, I'm so sorry that I haven't been up on here. As you can hear my voice is my voice is still battling away. But I um I couldn't not say hi to you guys because I feel like we're all in this together and when I'm not talking with you guys for too long, I miss you. <laughs> I know that's weird. Um, I don't, as someone said to me, they're like, there was a rumour that Chantal was taken with, away to the hospital with COVID <laughs> symptoms. I was like, yeah, nah, <laughs> we're good. I'm not going anywhere. I've just got a sore throat from talking. Um, the news said what? Ha, <laughs> that's such a lie. Good old news. Um, kids are playing in the mud because it's muddy, but let me show you guys the ground. Um, but kids love mud. I loved mud as a kid. Mud's not a bad thing. I lived on the farm and sometimes we'd try and milk the cows and drink it from the cow just to <coughs> something new because we're a country. Like, it's not a big deal. All right. See, people have put um, hay everywhere. And to be honest, this is actually a good thing because it actually protects the grass underneath. It stops the grass from getting all ruined and damaged and it just makes it a lot easier to stand on. So this is great. News Hub is doing a spin piece at the moment. <laughs> of course they are. But guys, keep in mind, that's their job. Oh, I mean, oh, we've got nice big speakers now. Oh, I love it. My horizon is 
the last of heaven. I can't sing it all right now. Hi. Hey. Last of heaven. Oh, cool. I love that sign. Kids love getting messy, 100%. Last of heaven. Oh. Hi, thank you. I know they don't like looking at us, but I'm glad that they're here. What a banger! <laughs> we um, I think it looks like everyone leveled up the sound while we were away, eh, Mix? And now it's amazing. <laughs> Kiwi bangers, eh? Um, <laughs> I love this so much. Um, no, they're lying. That if they say it, if they say things are a health risk, they can use that as an excuse to shut people down for their own health. Um, does that remind us of anything else these last three years? It's all for your health. Um, obviously not your mental health or else they never would have done any of this. Other types of health that, that suits their narrative. in Christchurch and I actually cried watching it because you guys are so amazing. My hometown, the awesome people that I've marched with for the last few months, you guys were all there. Um, shout out to Derek. Yeah, okay. We'll put that we don't own the rights to this music when we post it because um, we don't. We definitely don't. It's just people playing. <laughs> this is the mud, the mud they were talking about. Oh, yes. Sorry. Such a banger. I'm like, come on, Meg. My God, I'm beating in the name of love and I'll fall down. Oh, my God, I'm beating in the name of love. These guys. My God, <laughs> beating in the name of love. In heaven and five years in hell. Oh, hi! I found a gorgeous. Oh, sorry. I love you guys dancing. It's so good. Where have you been? Babe, listen to my voice. I had to have a little break because every time I come in here, everyone's like, hi, hi, hi. And, and now I have no voice. So I had to have a few hours away and get some equipment and like get my voice to break. I actually did. <laughs> you know what we did? Yeah. Righteous husband just flicked your um, screenshot from the TV news. Yeah. Oh, we're live right now. Taking the kids away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
and because apparently, uh, what are we doing? Hate speech. Oh, nah. I found it. I found it. Hi. Hang on. Found it. Copy. Copy. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> You're so Are you going for Prime Minister? But, no. <laughs> Can I don't, you please? I don't want to be up there. Please. That's not my cup of tea. We freaking need somebody else up there. That is not my vibe, eh? Oh, hey, how are you? Oh, guys. Are you live right now? Yeah, I'm live. Yeah, yeah I got 1.2. Cool. What's the music coming from? No. The police ones are up there. You can't actually hear them because all the people got their own ones and they're way louder. So everyone's vibing out. The police are still trying to play music with COVID ads in it, but, um, I don't see anyone converted yet, if I'm honest. Oh, I don't. Ah! Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys, for swearing. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I just fell into the mud. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Yeah. Where do I go? This is so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just that usual awful community, guys, vibing out. <laughs> I love these signs. Hi. Oh, hey. Yeah, Canada. Heaven and five years in hell. Oh, sorry, so sorry. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh, guys, I'm going to keep trying to look after my voice. It's all right, maybe with a new voice, they won't be able to track that it's me. Undercover. Statistics don't lie to me. Come on, come clean. And I see we're no longer free. Where is democracy? Us versus them, a part of it's killing me. And I see the cold as it gone. What's with the price? What are you saying? What do you mean? What's with the mainstream? I want to scream. What are you saying? What do you mean? What do you know? I love this. People vibing out to everything. Hi. Hi. Oh, heat is for everyone. We gotta be careful it doesn't melt the roof. So it's gonna be a bit chilly. Oh, sorry, so sorry. Hi, how are you guys? Oh, everyone's got walls up now. Everything's protected. Someone's written all over this mini, and it is so cute. Oh my gosh. I want to ride on this, but I don't want to ride on top of anyone's awesome stuff. <laughs> Whose car is this? No idea. So we, we don't know, but um, it's writing. I'm like, we can even write. Um, I don't have the, I'm a really messy rider team, by the way, just in case you didn't know. Hold up. <laughs> I'm going to go around and see us. Oh, oh no, it's out. I finally got, I finally got my spot and it's out. Darn it. Oh, sorry, sorry. Are any of these? Cool, thank you. Good old Sharpie. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh, is this a supplies tent? Oh, you guys are so sweet. Is this a supplies tent? Oh my gosh. Admin, oh, I love this. Blankets, everything for people. There's earplugs. Hi, can I? I would love to, is that all right? Oh my gosh, wow. Guys, look at all of this. PowerPoints and blankets. Things for you to sleep on. No, no. Isn't this incredible? The amount of love, eh? Yeah, Everywhere. It's crazy, eh? Look at this, guys. Heaps of ear mattresses for people. Tents, tarpaulins, chairs. I mean, wow. Blankets, so many blankets. Oh, flip. Earplugs. <laughs> people might need them later tonight. <laughs> I mean, hey, how are you guys? I love, they, they thought the recorder would stop us, eh? But everyone's like, hold my purse. <laughs> yeah, so good. It's awesome, eh? <laughs> We're worldwide in New Zealand, eh? <laughs> Thank you. Hold up, I just wanna fix this sweet thing for people. So I get to be traffic light sign. Freedom of body autonomy. E mandates. Yeah. Pride, not hate. This minority is major. It's asked the government to donate supplies. <laughs> Someone said this morning, they're like, it looks like a Red Cross camp. Because this morning, obviously, everyone was exhausted. All the gazebos had been flattened by the wind. Um, it was pretty rough. Oh, this person's bold in high heels. That is a bold move. That is a baddie move. Hi. <laughs> All right, we're going to come up and look at this beautiful building. Far out. Um, every day it gets bigger and better. Like, no matter what the government do, the people pushback is stronger. Hey, and we're seeing that right here. There's heaps of people all around that end and obviously heaps of people on the streets today um, just being so cold and chilly. But look, cops having a good time. They're chilling. It's hard not to wiggle the hips just a little bit to these tunes. <laughs> hey, how are ya? You running high viz. Oh, let's go see this sign. Oh, I want to come down here. Let's give the sign the welcome. Yeah, this is where I fell on the rose patch. I don't even know what I was running to anymore, actually. Maybe it was to go up there. I actually can't remember. Looks like someone's put little battery candles through here. Maybe they might have spelt out something. Found out what it means to me. One News admitted they are playing torture music. I mean... I, I get you, but no one's really tortured over here, eh? Everyone is Mick loving it. When did COVID see someone? How did the Mini get there? Someone must have driven it in. I don't know whose Mini it is, but um, that Mini's kind of cool. <laughs> I reckon that Mini could sell for a lot in the future. Oh, people are driving in here. Bold. <laughs> Setting up tents in here. That's a good strategy. Hey, I reckon tents in here is way better just simply because it's dry. But, um, but also, it's a lot of room for one person in here. So maybe a better thing is just a whole lot of beds and then... But I get any privacy. People need to get changed, especially people that have been here more than a day, you know? I wonder how many of us are here from the beginning. It'd be cool to do like a little tally and be like, how many of you guys are here, here, here? I might do that. I might make a little poll. <laughs> we can put out the poll, get an idea of numbers. Oh. Someone from Parliament coming to talk? Not at this stage. Um, and again, everyone is just saying the same thing. They want in, an end to the mandates. That's it. In the mandates, people go home. And um, with such high jibby jab numbers, that should be a really easy thing to achieve. Easy thing to accomplish. Everyone's health measures are so much higher now than they used to be. Go on. What have you got to risk outside of 
turning Parliament into a cheeky little farmyard. But see, guys, this is the difference, right? So that's the grass. If people just stand on it and walk on it, and then if we put the hay on it, we can keep it nice. Melanie, it's not about a party, Chantal. What is the collective mission? Obviously the collective mission is everyone working together and staying peaceful. So actually part of it being a party, and you're right, it's a protest, it's a protest party, but part of keeping things light and happy is good because it keeps people peaceful, people chill, and that's what it's all about. Everyone's clearly protesting. I mean, no one's gonna be sitting here hanging out in the mud, <laughs> you know, if they could be at home in their nice dry houses on a Sunday night. But the vibe is making it worth it, making it easier for people to stay, easier for people to be here. So that's why it's actually really important to keep people happy, keep the energy good. Look at this wee doggo. Hi, hi. I've been loving all the dogs Thank at the you. protest. Yeah. Really? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> I could for the first few days, eh? And then I've had to have like a wee bit of a break today from it just because I'm like, obviously i got no voice left. I can tell. Yeah. I understand too. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, there's no, like people aren't watching them as much now because so many people are here. Like thousands and thousands turned out. It's been amazing, eh? Have you guys signed the mini? No, Go and sign the mini. Make sure you use like the black thin sharpie because it's the only one with ink left. <laughs> See you guys. Oh, sorry. Oh, so cute. Hi. <laughs> Women and children lounge. This is important. Are the men gonna have one too that just streams UFC? Cause that would be a vibe. Hope they wouldn't mind if I hang out in there. Just to see Israel at Asanya. Incredible Israel. <laughs> Government's trying to say there's Omicron it. I don't know, maybe. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is great. Sorry guys, I'm gonna run and join because I love Queen. Oh sorry. Hey <laughs> there. How good eh? Hey? Guys, I'm with Lingo Louie. <laughs> Oh, it is so cool. <laughs> Who would have picked today? After after that, that oh, after Wednesday, I was like, oh no, we've picked it up. Oh oh oh. This guy is an amazing rap artist. Someone will pop his name there. Hi. Hi. Oh. Shit. Uh, back at the mud puddle, guys. Uh. Oh, we bubbies a bit tired. I love seeing all the flags. Oh my god. Oh, I hope everyone does it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Ladies have got it. 
DJ, the your DJ. Oh, <laughs> is it here? You guys need to calm down. You look like you're having too much fun. Right? It's cold, it's wet, it's raining, you're sleeping in tents in the mud, in the hail. <laughs> you guys are all good, eh? Yeah. I'm so proud. This is, this is our, these are Kiwis. Now, just a couple of things, and we'll, we'll, we'll get to party a little bit later as well, but there are some things happening this week, so um, I know that we have our teachers. I'm trying to keep the phone dry. TSOS have their court case down Hi. here in March, and I'm the, I don't intend to be here that long. I'm expecting that everything should be over by then, all right? But give it up for our teachers, New Zealand teachers, speak young science. Give it up for these teachers, they are absolutely amazing. We had Dr. Manny Garcia and we've got Dr. Matt Child and a lot of people from NZD, so we our doctors, so give it up for the doctors. These are brave people who stand up and, and speak for their rights. Okay, and on Tuesday, on Tuesday we have the police and defence workers will have their case at the High Court on Tuesday. So give it up for them. This is a thing for everybody, hey guys. And so we've just got to continue to, it's, man, it's impacting every, every corner. If it didn't hit you at first, it'll eventually arrive on your doorstep and you will find it impacts your family in such a way. You know, we had Christmas and we didn't have the normal Christmas that we normally had because our families couldn't be together because of all of this. And it's just not right. It's not absolutely not right. It's not right for my kids to have, you know, family division all of this. Don't touch our families. And you know, like as Aretha Franklin said, all I ask for is a little respect. And that's all that we're asking for from our, our, our uh, Prime Minister. And you know, there's a saying in this nation, kanohi ki te kanohi, face to face. Face to face. That's how we deal with things. That's how a leader will lead and look after his citizens. We've got recorder lessons again. Give them a smile at that, eh? That's the one, eh? That's the one. Don't worry, play, play the Titanic, eh? It's going down, 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 all right? So awesome, that's great. Hey, we've had people from all around the nation who've come here today, and as they have traveled from far, we just want to give them a call. Also, a lot of the freedom groups who are here today, and I've got a brother who's come all the way from Whangarei, and he's an amazing man. He's had a bit of a journey on his freedom journey, that's kind of like not the kind of thing that he thought he signed up for. But when you're fighting for freedom, you've got to be willing to put yourself on the line and maybe potentially put your own freedoms on the line. So this is my brother. He's from the Freedom and Rights Coalition up in Whangarei. So why don't you give it up for Robbie Johnson? All the way from Whangarei. Nice. Hey, thanks, Hector. Hey, it's just beautiful to be here. I um, came down a couple of days ago with my whanau 
travelled from Whangarei through the night and uh, we arrived down here at 7 o'clock in the morning and then straight into this and uh, I was truly blown away when um, I saw all the tents everywhere in the cars using the streets as car park, car parks and just thought wow this is far bigger than what the media is making out. You are far more powerful than what they're saying about you. And I know that it's going to get bigger and bigger from this point forward. But like my brother here, Hika, said that uh, I had an interesting journey over the last four months. And uh, just as a working class, everyday Kiwi citizen that represented my country playing sport, represented my province, uh, I stood before a whole lot of people up there in Whangarei and just preached freedom and rights and spoke about the things that were being stolen from us stolen from our families and the potential from our children. And after that, uh, I was arrested. Um, took a week and a half for them to get to me, but I was arrested and charged with two charges of breaking the COVID response bill. So um, yeah, it was pretty hard for, a, I suppose, a 47 year old man who's never been before the courts before, that's been working up in there in the community, keeping people out, people out of jail, putting food on the table, stopping domestic violence, getting people off the bottle or off drugs, and to suddenly then have a constable turn up at his front door and call him a criminal and want to prosecute him. So it's pretty hard nose when you're facing uh, up against the government that is corrupt yeah. and has now gone and stepped way over the mark of actually trying to be there for the people. And funny thing is though, I mean, this is a bill that we're standing against here, one of the many, one of, one of many, that over 24 hours was rammed through up here behind closed doors without any public uh, look into it, without any other opposition party to be able to go over it. And within 24 hours, they put it on the table and they passed it. Now it's overreaching where it's not about health anymore, it's about control. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's gone beyond what it was intended for. And now it's starting to creep right in behind our four walls and into our homes. So I was faced with these two charges and I had to go to the Whangarei District Court. And to be honest, even the policeman, and it was a good mate of mine that I knew that had to come to my front door. And he was embarrassed to be there. He was embarrassed to serve me papers to say that I had to attend Whangarei District Court in a few days time and to be charged. So trust me, these guys that are behind me here, that are standing with these yellow jackets, a lot of them don't want to be there. They're there because they're putting food on their table, a roof over their head. Yeah. They don't want to do it to keep their job. Yeah, 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 yeah. I sat with a man from the Wellington Police Force here yesterday who's lost his job. And he's still fighting for his job now. So this is right across the country where there are police that, you know what, they're enforcing things that they don't really believe in deep down inside of them. And I hear my sister here saying, don't do it. But there's a lot of other Kiwis around the place now that, you know what, have been put in that same predicament. And we can't be hard on them in the sense where we've got to condemn them for what they've done. You know, we're going to support our brother and sister and show them the truth and give them the courage to stand, to stand here with us. And I invite every other Kiwi across our country, come down here and stand with us. You don't have to be here for three days, you don't have to be here for four months. You can be here for one hour, but that one hour counts. If it's after work, if it's coming away for the weekend for a couple of days, don't worry about accommodation. We've got heaps of accommodation around here. <laughs> we get plenty of people that want to give up their tent for you to come down here and stay a few nights. There's free food. Your clothes will get dry if you get wet because there's dryers and generators. You name it, this is going to be our home for as long as it takes. Because as much as that lady behind us has said that she's not interested in us, that we're a small minority and she's going to get about her business, we're going to make sure she can't go about her business because we're going to be sitting on her front doorstep until she comes out and talks. This is going to get bigger. It's going to get much bigger than what you're seeing now. I don't know how far this is going to carry, but I want to invite every all black, every all white, Every Kiwi League star, every netballer, I want them to come down here, you know what, and to share in with us a fight for our freedoms. There are plenty out there, but you need to come out from behind the curtain. And you now need to speak. I was told this week 
that my 11 year old son who's turning 12 this year is no longer going to be able to play for his, for his club, for soccer. So as a young, young boy who's got all the potential in the world to be a great sports star, just like his old man, <laughs> you know, to be a great sports star, but suddenly now he can't play soccer. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know if it's through rugby, through the New Zealand Rugby Union, I'm not sure it's right through other sports, I don't know, but we need to kick back. We need to kick back. You need to go to your clubs, your basketball teams, the netball teams and you need to kick back and say it's not right because we can't have our children having their potentials robbed from them just because a government has decided to overstep the mark and come in like i say it's not about health anymore this ain't about health when we're taking our liberties off our young ones got a young daughter who can't get her license anymore can't get her full license so how's she supposed to legally go down to the medical center if she needs to because she's got to drive illegally, yet they say that they won't affect the essentials of life where they are. So we start to look right across the board now that everybody has been touched in some way, shape or form. That this government has actually stepped over that mark. But I think that from the week ahead, the sun's coming out tomorrow. Oh, yes, it is. The tents are going to get dry and the grass is going to grow. But I want to encourage every Kiwi of New Zealand to actually take some time to come here. Come be part of history. Come witness something really special. This is not a bunch of crazy people. Well, maybe a little crazy. But these are people that are going home tonight, some of us, that are going to go to work again tomorrow. But they're going to come out again. You know what? I'm going to keep coming out. Day after day, week after week until they can invite us into that place behind us and start to sit, sit down. I'm going to tell them very clear and straight that you've got to drop the mandates. Yeah, yeah. You've got to drop the mandates. Yeah, yeah. The mandates are no good for our country. Have a look across the rest of the world. Drop the mandates. We need to drop the mandates so we can get on with our lives. We can start to see our children flourish again and get their masks off when they go to school. Gee, funny that I applied for an exemption for my son to get a ma so he doesn't have to have a mask at school. He's not going to school with a mask anyway. But I applied for an exemption. I got a letter back saying you don't need an exemption from the government. The Ministry of Health said I'm, we don't actually issue exemption passes and cards for kids. I'm thinking, hey, that's not what I come across the pulpit on one one afternoon. Said you sorted out with your school. So maybe you need to go to your school tomorrow and say, hey, hang on a minute, what's going on? I'll give you my email address, I'll send you all an email, you take that in. But at the end of the day, there's a lot of things that are getting said, but there's nothing to back it up. Just like a lot of the things that are getting said, but there's no science to back it up in the sense that, you know what, there's a lot of things out there that are happening now that we're proving that this thing that's going around and all these mandates and that are unlawful. This is the ugliest piece of legislation we've seen in our country. Why? Because they rammed it through and they never gave it to the people, they never gave it to the opposition party and they said it very clearly, this is going to cause chaos. But they still pushed it through. They're not about the people anymore, they're about their own agenda. So that's just my little two cents worth there, but I know that everybody else has got a story. But I want to leave the rest of New Zealand with an invite to come down here and be part of history. We've seen it with Bastion Point. We've seen it here with other apartheid rallies and live-in situations like this. We've seen it with our brothers and sisters up at Ihu Mato. Well, I don't see this as being any different. When you've got to stand, you know what? You've got to put your feet right there where you need to stand. And we will change, you know what, the laws and legislations if they're crooked and they're wrong within our country. But it's going to take every one of us to do that. So every hour that you can be here, come down here. Come and enjoy and be part of history. Because this is something that's really going to put a, put a statement and a mark on the history of our country. So I want you to give a good shout of praise right now for that. Come on. Be, be happy about being here. Woo! That's it there. And get off air. Welcome everybody back in here. Because you are part of international news now. You're part of international news. I say, sun is out. There's brighter days ahead for us, people. So keep peaceful about it.
keep unified and keep welcoming people in. There's been bucket loads of gumboots and food and socks and freebies all coming in here to support this. And I want to just, you know what, thank the rest of New Zealand and all our people across our country that have contributed, that are sewing in, that are pawhawing towards us. Give them a hand. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thanks every single job. person you that are, has contributed. Right around the country. Whoever it is, you've got to contact whatever freedom group it is, Freedom and Rights Coalition or Voices of Freedom, contact them. See how you can help and come and be a part of this. New Zealand is a small country. I come from the far north and there's plenty that have come from the bottom of the South Island. But we're a small country, man. Within 10 hours, you can be in this place. One drive. A couple of stops for the whare paku and a couple of pie and a drink and you're at this place so it doesn't take much but come and be part of history so god bless you have a fantastic night enjoy the party because we're gonna party all night no vaccine passes required it's free it's free there's free food and free accommodation so come and join the biggest party in new zealand Awesome. Beautiful. That was awesome. Who needs what rhythm and vines, eh? Give it up for Robbie, all the way from Whanganei. Give it up for rhythm and you protest. Know, Robbie, Robbie, you said that you uh, you represented your country, and you've had moments where you've stood proud, proud to represent your country. And you know, to get to represent your country, not just anyone can get to represent their country. It takes a lot of hard work, a lot of training. A lot of ours getting out there doing their hard, hard yards when everyone else wants to laze around and not get up. But you work to the very top in your field, into your country. And I think that's an encouragement to every single one of us here today, is that those who represent their country, it takes a special kind of person to be a representative of their country. Our Prime Minister says they are not representative of New Zealand, but you're representing your country because you've done the hard yards, you've fought, you've pushed through, you've never given up. And so thank you, Robbie, for inspiring us with your powerful words. You gonna say something yeah. else? Hey, <laughs> I forgot the punchline. I forgot the punchline. I told you I got arrested, but guess what? There's good news to the end of the story. When I went to court, I got up in there and the judge, I saw the judge walk in and he had a twinkle in his eye, because I knew of him and he knew of me and he knew of all the good work that I'd done in the community. And he looked at me and he thought, this fellow's not a criminal. And when I stood there with my lawyer and the police prosecutor was there, and then I, st I, I said, oh, okay, I sort of sort of did sort of organise it because <laughs> like, I had a meeting with the cops beforehand, so they knew I was doing that. But the other part, when they were trying to charge me, I said, well, hang on a minute. And the judge said, hang on, do we really need to be prosecuting a 47-year-old man who's never been before the courts before? Do we really need to do that? And the police, and I know they're only going through what they had, they said, well, we would like to leave a mark on his record because of the public interest and because of the seriousness of it. But because one of the charges was dropped, because you know what, they really believe that the charges are a waste of time. Anyway, one of the charges were dropped, but the other charge that they were going to get me on was just an infringe, infringement notice. It was a fine of $1,000. So there was no criminal charge to go with it. So the judge said, you know what? I don't think we need to put a, a mark on a 47-year-old man who's never been before the court, who's not really a criminal. I don't think we need to incriminate him. So you know what, I'm going to give it a 106, which, is, which half of you know here, because some of you are probably criminals. I, I'm going to give it a 106, which is discharged without conviction. Yeah! -hoo -hoo! So I was a free man. I was facing six months imprisonment. I was facing a $4,000 fine plus another $1,000 fine, and I walked out there with nothing. Yeah. A free man. Why Why is that? Because you know what, really, brother to brother, kanui to kanui, face to face, man to man, kiwi to kiwi, you know, he didn't want to charge me, because he knew it was ridiculous. He knew I was only standing there representing, representing a whole lot of people, just like there's many others that are gonna stand here doing it. They're not doing it because they wanna be a criminal, they're doing it because they just want to be a voice to other people. And I've got other brothers and sisters around my country now here that are sitting in the same position that have got charges against them. Brian Tamaki up there up north and there's ones all around our country. 120 of them here from the other day that have got now charges against them. They're not criminals. They're just people about that are passionate about their country. So I believe, you know what, we need to drop all those charges. 
we drop these mandates, they can drop those charges as well. So let's get the mandates dealt with, get them dropped, and then we can drop all those charges and get on with living our life. Awesome? I'm a free man. Well, for now. Well, oh, give it up for Robbie. Beautiful Robbie. And uh, yeah, as we're talking about the people in prison, our, our six wahine are still in Aruhata prison right now. Yeah. And so why yeah. don't you just give a big shout out for all of our ladies who are in yeah. prison right now. They yeah. stood on the line. They held the line. Nice. They held the line. That's it. They held the line and they went in there. And you know, I mean, this is, this is it, eh? Not criminals. And so um, it's good to be together, eh? Get to be together with your family. Why don't you look to your left and your right to say, man, I'm so glad that you're here. So I'm so glad to know you. Give a give a hug, give a hug for your brother and sister and your wife. Someone you don't know. To say, man, I'm so proud to be related to you. I'm so proud that we've got the same heart. That's it. Give him a hug, lady. That's the one. There you go. Eh? Are you gonna? Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, we're going to chant here. Okay, people, we're going to join together in a chant to Titanic. We can sway a little bit. Oh, it's going to be like, this. stop the mandates. 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 What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Freedom. When do we want it? Now. 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 What do we want? Freedom. What do we want? Love it. Freedom. When do we want it? Now. When do we want it? Now. Stop the men. 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 Right, you gave me money? Oh, yay. <laughs> um, we don't know where your sandbags are, but we'll find them. Oh, no, we'll try. Hi. Oh, give me a hug. Oh, I love. Oh. What do we want? Oh, my gosh. What do we want? Freedom. When do we want? Now. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Freedom. What do we want? Freedom. When do we want it? Now. When do we want it? Now. Unity. 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 Diversity! 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 Stop the men! Stop the men! Stop the men! Beautiful, beautiful! Yeah, team. This looks like the biggest group of farmers that I've seen in a while. Are you guys all farmers? You look like you're all farmers. You look 100%. <laughs> I was like, these look like a bunch of country lads if I've ever seen it. <laughs> It's just all the funnies. I'm like, we had them on the farm back home. And whenever I see one, I'm like, I'm like, I know that man knows how to kill an animal. Like, I know it. <laughs> and no, I'm not saying go kill animals, guys. But obviously, swannies, farmers, hunters, motorbikers, love it. Oh, my. More hay. Is it, is it silent or is it? Oh, thank you. Really? Yeah. At the front? Yeah. Oh, getting a selfie. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Hi. Oh, my gosh, that'd be hilarious. Oh, we have to. Oh, my gosh, this is so funny. She'll be like, what? <laughs> that's so good. How beautiful is that recorder music, eh? You're going to need a high. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. You go, you put your arm up high and then we can all fit in. Here we go. Oh, I did away. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, no, I'm just I know, my voice is like, she's kaput. Everyone's like, you need to get up and do a speech. I was like, I can't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Thank you, see you. Oh, more tacos. Oh, I do have um, throat lozenges somewhere, guys. I just actually don't know where they are. I'm going to go find some water. Together and be the right. <laughs> mm -hmm. the right. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, that aromatherapy tent smells beautiful. 
Yeah, I think they know no one's seen them. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh your little doggies. That's, that's so cute. Hi, look at these little guys. Hi, how are you? This is so good, isn't it? You need them, eh? If anyone wants to help, maybe a few more of these is not a bad shout because there's a lot of cold people. <laughs> more gear, a lot of gear got ruined in the um, big winds. Lost property. Excuse me. Oh, the kitchen hub for lost property. I think I lost my tan jacket from a video like four days ago. I think I gave it to the music people or something and um, I never came back for it because I forgot. <laughs> Everyone's having a great time. Oh, my friend Lucy, if my friend Lucy's watching this. Lucy, come find me. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna go get some water. Oh, look at this. Oh, is it weird that I kind of want to lie down in this? It's so soft and fluffy. I can't believe this is happening, guys. It actually doesn't even feel real. This whole thing doesn't even feel real. <laughs> it's definitely a family-friendly place. Everyone's so chill now. Freedom Camp. Is every little thing is gonna be alright? FYI, Trev. Good luck. It's gonna be alright. Hey. because someone said he they put a message which I actually think is a really good thing to talk about they said are you aware Chantel that there are elements there who aren't there for fluffy and I think what you mean by that is like extremists um yeah I'm aware I'm aware that there are some people with pretty extreme views here um I'm also aware that they are as Jacinda loves to say the fringe minority but in this case they are definitely the fringe minority I mean you're always going to get that in any protest climate change protests people do some pretty intense weird stuff to try and get their point across same with greenpeace has done some pretty crazy stuff to get their point across same with sexual abuse survivors have done some pretty crazy stuff to get their point across um i'm not saying that that is it or what is going to happen here because to do something extreme with a crowd of this size it takes people to actually back that up um and the crowd doesn't back it up 
They really don't back it up. And if you know, like what you saw the other day with hold the line, with everyone holding each other in, if anyone tried to do anything dumb here, people aren't going to join in. They don't want to join in. And you saw that when that guy tried to... Well, when Brett tried to go up the stairs, not saying that was dumb or anything like that, I'm just saying you tried to go up the stairs, it's not like everyone ran with him. You know what I mean? It wasn't like you had the whole crowd running with him. That didn't happen. So it's not like if someone went and tried to go and hurt an officer or something, everyone would jump in. Not at all, because they don't support that. That's not a vibe for anyone here. Oh. Hi, how are you guys? I realised as I was sitting in that tent watching everyone have a good time, like just super chill and swaying with everything, I was like, ah, oh. because <laughs> it's kind of different, you know, like it's a little bit different for me because I'm still kind of working, you know what I mean? Like I'm always, my mind's always on, it's always running a million miles an hour, I'm always like, what do people need to see, what have we missed, who can I get back to, what else can we interview, how can we edit that, how can we get it out, who can we talk to? It's not like you're just sitting there chilling at all. <laughs> and I was kind of like, ah, oh, must be nice to be here and just be, like, be able to be just a person, just having a good time and, you know, chilling out. But it's so awesome hey, feeling like you can have helped in some small way to bring people here, you know? And I guess that's how I feel. I know there are media down there hidden in the crowd. Of course they are. But it's like, why do they have to be hidden? Why can't they just be out and about? Um, and I think the answer for that is that I saw a media person here with a couple of people the other day. Was it yesterday or the day before? Um, that she was like, you know, people were unhappy with her because, and the reality is people are unhappy because the media constantly twists things and constantly makes it, like, shows one very small portion and states it as the majority, and that's not true. And so people are tired of it. And now they've gotten to that point where vast majorities realise that that's not true and that what they do isn't true and so now when they're trying to report something truthfully it's hard for people to buy it because they're like but you've lied for so long you know it's like the little boy who cries wolf they've cried wolf so many times that now they've become the wolf and that's the reaction that they get now and I walked with them and I was like, hey, if you guys want some good people to interview, I'm happy to like walk with you so no one hurts you because I don't think, not that they would hurt them, but you know, I just want to make sure that everyone is, feels c comfortable here. And so I walked with them um, and she was like, no, 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 and just walked off. And I'm like, that's cool. But I just wanted to make sure that if they were wanting to be genuine and someone actually wanted to talk to them, that they would feel comfortable coming down here. Because at the end of the day, the media are currently on the government side and they protect them. But if we could get them on our side and to understand where we come from, that's also kind of powerful. Right. Here's my mum. Mummy. <laughs> hi, guys. Yeah, hi. Oh, hi, Lee. Nice to see you. How are you doing, beautiful? How's your voice? <laughs> oh, we're getting there, eh? It's honestly, it's a big family effort. It's a team effort, eh? I'm always on the phone to mum being like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Hi, how are you? How are you going? <laughs> yeah, how's your day been? That's cool, eh? Oh, you get a photo with me. Get a photo with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get one of me, get it with me. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, come here. Come on. Jump in. No, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, you take the photo, eh? <laughs> My mum's so cute. <laughs> Jump on in. Protest photos. Well done. Thank Thanks. You. Awesome. Thanks. Oh, love it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Do you want just a selfie? All right. Hold up. Yeah. I came from Dunedin. Really? Um, All the way from Dunedin? On Friday. Wow. At three hours notice. And my husband. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. He's been following it. And when he's seen your live stream on Thursday, yep. he said that's it, you get up there. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Oh, really? Yeah, I, a lot of former cops actually messaged and reached out to me and were like, that is not how we're trained. Like, heaps of them were gutted. But I think that in itself is powerful, you know. Oh, sorry, Mum, we'll get this one photo. And all. Sorry. 
Thank you. Smell good. Oh, oh, of course, lovely, of course. No, it's awesome, eh? Like, it's so good. And where did he used to work? Can I have water? Just water. Yeah. But then I, I, I don't know how I, but I managed to find your page. Hi. I'm Chantal. Nice to meet you. Hi. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm like, does anyone want to hold this live? And <laughs> do you want, oh, Lucy. Oh, my gosh. Guys, this is my gorgeous friend, Lucy. I love Luce. Luce Goose. Can you hold this live? I get a photo with this. Yes. She's getting so famous now. Everybody wants a picture with Chantal. Yeah. All of our fans. <laughs> okay. Lynn's so happy. Hey guys. You're live on Chantal Baker's page. <laughs> Hi. This is my favorite one. So good. Everyone's very, very happy. Got some food. Woo! Oh. Okay. I don't really know what Chantal wants me to do with this. Here she is. She's just talking. Hi. Oh my god, those recorders! They're so bad! <laughs> it's like... Awful. More people coming! Do you guys want to see her over here? What do you guys, I don't know what you want to look at. I'll go show you some more stuff over here. Um, oops. Hi. <laughs> There's way more stuff set up now. I don't know if you can, they've got like heaps more tents. Um, this is like admin number two. It's gotten very organized now. There's like a DJ tent in here. Um, Camp Freedom. This tent over here is for like mums and kids. So they can like have a quiet space to like hang out and stuff, which is awesome. Um, that's like, yeah, this is DJ tent, like family in here. As, this morning it was looking a pretty bit worse to wear, I must be honest. But they've got heaps more hay and it's just gotten a way better now, it's awesome. And then, yeah, there's a big hay bale. Oh my gosh, they've got wood shavings. Got very muddy, so I need to absorb all the water and the mud. But yeah, it's amazing now. And now they've got like, oh, they've got the drums. I'll show you guys the drums. It's super cool. Hi. Hello. Look at the drums. I love this tent. This is my favorite tent. Take you back to Chantel now. I don't want her to lose her phone. Look at the kid! So cute! <laughs> See, everyone's just like helping and walking around. 
It's so cool. Like everyone's like donated so much stuff. It's amazing. And then there's like more tents over here. <coughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Everyone should come if you're able. Definitely recommend coming down. Um, it's awesome. Super cool. I might take you guys back to the live, back to Chantel. What happened? Yeah, no, no. About the person that you saved. Okay, okay. This lovely lady's a medic, and she was just looking after someone last night, and pretty much saved us, saved his life. We're not going to say who. We're not going to say what happened. But nice job, lovely. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Sorry, Luce. Thank you just like so famous now <laughs> is there anything you guys want to see specifically I can show you uh, how long have you been staying here for I, as long as it takes until the mandates are up and, and being used then people plan to stay here which I think is pretty fair enough so as soon as the mandates stop um, well, everyone will go home although it will be sad to see everyone go home because it's really fun um and yeah, I like the comments about this is the only festival not cancelled this summer, which is like so true. Um, um, and obviously if you guys can't come down, then there are other things happening that you can support in your own town. So, oh my gosh, look at this little dog. He's got a jacket on. Yeah, so it still can definitely support from afar. Um, if you can't make it, but if you can make it, I'd recommend coming because, um, oh, it's Leighton, Chantal's dad. Hi, Leighton. Um, yeah, it's an amazing vibe. It's so cool. Everyone is just so happy. Everyone's smiling, having fun, and it's just good vibes. And there's just so much food. So cool. Hi. Hey, guys. How are you? All right. All right. Um, I'm just gonna see if Chantal wants her live back. Do you want it back? Hi guys, sorry. Hi team, sorry. Show the horse float. <laughs> Trot on then, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Um, oh, that float? No way, Jacinda, freedom. Um, this lovely man has been taking people into his house and doing washing for them and looking after them. I mean, far out. This community, eh? Luce, what's it been like for you? Because you've like fresh off the boat to here. Oh, good. Uh, yeah. Even, I came out when I had my Sunday night. Yeah. But I was like not the full experience. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. See you when you're not Awesome. I'm so glad you're here. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off this live for a little bit so that I can chat to my lovely friend for a little while because she's flown in from Auckland and I just want to see her because it's been two days and I've been way too busy to say hi. So love you guys. I'll show you guys later. Why do you hang around the toilets? Well, because there's toilets at the entrance and exit and this is actually the food tent. So heaps of people are here getting food and coffee. So I'm going to go do that. Ciao. You can't take Kiwis down, Apparently, on me. Man, I love Kiwis. The news was talking about. Sorry, I'm just going to come out of here so I can talk to you guys. Again, no, this was us. <laughs> this wasn't the news again. This was all us. I'm just going to wipe the camera. Um, oh, there we go. That's better. No, no, no. We played it. It was funny. But when I see where it was freedom and rights, I had nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. Um, but I feel like I can be included at this point. So. <laughs> Apparently the news tonight said that um, there were, <laughs> there were feces and they're going to use that as a health measure to try and get everyone to leave. Um, not true. 
fake news, our favourite fake news. Hey. How are you guys? Hi. Um, definitely not true. As you guys have seen everywhere, the place is really, really clean. People even brought hay out to protect the grass and to make it easier to walk on. Um, so they are literally just lying to try and push people out. Now, I have a real big favour to ask every single one of you. And my favour is this. I've just been on the phone with some really cool people and I have an, there's an announcement that's going to happen at 12 o'clock tomorrow. I can't tell you what it is. Or it might be closer to 12.10 or 12.15. I can't tell you guys what it is. But what I can say is that we really, really, really need everybody here, everybody here, everybody on the streets, anyone that can be in Wellington, out here in the, in, in the grounds at 12 o'clock. So there's going to be a really cool announcement um, and something that some awesome people have been working on. So if we can, if, if everyone can share this to anyone that they know that is here and get them to come down 12 o'clock, someone, oh, shoot, <laughs> That would be amazing. I'd really, really appreciate it because I don't know how we're going to get it out if, um, if it's not for you wonderful people. Also, shout out to the lovely lady that gave me this. Um, I won't say her name to protect her identity, protect her identity but she's so sweet. She gave me a battery pack in these um, kitten and do dry bag, which I really appreciate. And I'm just going to go to the admin tent because someone's left me gum boots because my little toes are a bit brown. Um, everyone's spirits are amazing. They're so good. But I think... I think Trevor Mallard maybe got it wrong. <laughs> got it wrong when he thought that this would detract the protesters because it won't. But I do feel really sorry for the police um, because we've all got heaps of music out here, you know what I mean? Like we can walk away, anyone here can walk away whenever they like. You know, like they can walk away, they can go get food, they can go get a coffee, they can rest, they can get a break from the little mel like um, recorder sounds and all that. But the police can't. Um, the police are stuck there having to listen to it day and night. So. and I don't think that's right when they're so tired and they've worked really hard um, over the last few days to make sure that everyone's happy and, and peaceful and they've been lovely giving out lollies, picking up people's signs and being super respectful which has been amazing and everyone's loved it, the vibe's awesome. So Trev, I mean the people don't care that you play that music, like literally no one clearly but maybe for the police, <laughs> let the police have a little break for a minute because um, we don't want the police getting wound up, we'd rather just have them happy and chill like everyone here is um, and don't worry about the grounds no one is a health risk here everyone's happy everyone's clean everyone's having a great time <laughs> David Seymour has said Mallard is acting like a child oh that's a nice shout from David completely agree but I feel like I mean look at his Twitter not that I actually have Twitter because I can't be bothered it's a bit of a cesspit um, but one of my friends sends me some stuff from it and helps filter it out for me. Shout out to Simon, who you guys have met. He does a lot of that for me um, and sends me what I need to know. And yeah, some of the stuff that he sends me from that is just pretty terrible. <laughs> pretty the, the Twitter hole. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to be able to do because everyone's so peaceful, so lovely. There's a yoga and meditation tent for anyone that's getting wound up. <laughs> Go get some yoga, stretch it out, get it out of your system. Oh, police have earplugs. Um, yeah, they might have earplugs, but it actually almost makes it worse, I reckon, if you had earplugs up there, because it's just really like, it makes it so all you're thinking about is the sound, you know? And again, like everyone out here doesn't have to think about it. Oh, I might go to the lost property and look for my jacket that I talked about eight hours ago and forgot about. Let's do the brain. Oh my gosh, this chick, love her. Oh yeah, look at her go. <laughs> this is amazing. Whoever knows this girl, tell her she's incredible. In a town ever opens again, we're going out. <laughs> this dude's like, can I keep up? And it's like, bro, you can't, you can't, let her go. She's in her own world. <laughs> rate that so much. What a legend.
Cool. And I'm back, supporting you from Christchurch. Oh, thank you. I've met some awesome, awesome Cantabrians today. Hey, such cool people. Oh, the pink ladies. How are you, lovely? Nice to see you. Hello, How are you feeling? Oh, it's so How much How was better. last night for you guys? Uh, it was rough. Well, rough. Rough. Were you guys no, tenting? No, no, we weren't tenting, but yeah. we stayed right till the bitter end. Oh, did you? What time? About midnight. Oh, okay, guys, what was happening at midnight? Were they still playing music? Yeah. Cool. That's so cool. Yeah. Defiant vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I rate that. Um, I saw the most amazing photo. I think Inside or Out took it of a guy standing in the rain or people standing in the rain as it was pouring and it was just super powerful and I was like yes um, also Dane Scott creative he had some really cool stuff over on his page as well and his Instagram all right love you nice to see you oh. I think we're driving tits off <laughs> in Snapchat and all it is is 18 chins 